Hello guys, Gene here with G Squared Tactical. Going to talk a little bit. I know we don't do a whole lot of reviews on optics and sights and flash or rail lights or anything like that. We've done a couple, but it's few and far between. But because uh, it's, I mean, it's a light, you know. I'm generally not that impressed. But I picked this up. I've never had a Hollison rail light. I, I love Hollison's, you know, optics and the red dots etc even their little red dots for rifles and things like that just love just love the hollison brand now if you're going to take the the stance that well it's made in china uh, you can get a vortex you can get a trigicon you can get a leopold those are all great optics but if you're going to take that stance very commendable stance i completely understand but you're going to miss out on a lot with the hollison brand do I like Trigicon? Yes, I do. Do I like Leopold? Yes, I do. But you have to have a, 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 a 9XL sight to see over the, the co-witness with the Leopold, and you have to take the sight on and off and re-zero it every time your battery dies on the Trigicon. They just have it innovated, and Hollison has. They, they came out already innovated, if you will. They, they have the shake awake feature uh, on their optics. And if you're just going to take that stance, you know, it's by America, then you're not going to have, you're not going to get to enjoy H&K, Glock, Taurus, Sig, and a bunch of other manufacturers that we all like and enjoy that are made overseas. Anyway, enough with the rambling. Again, I, this is the Hollison. It is a, they make several different versions of this. The, uh, the one that I have is a thousand lumens. Well, it says on all the literature that you find online that it's a thousand lumens. Uh, this is a Hollison PID dual 1000 lumen flashlight in the literature here it says 900 lumen I'm not completely sure what that's about but it is a universal illumination tool and it has a, a really really powerful white light and an IR laser integrated into the light um, it's designed for Picatinny rails. I'm sure it'll work on a 1913 rail as well. It does come with an extra mounting piece here, a mounting hardware, if you will, to, to take the place of the one that's on here. One of them has a number one on there, and one of them has a number two. But this did fit nice and flushly and very, very tight. Like a lot of times when you put these rail lights on, you'll see some movement back and forth here until you tighten down uh, the screw on the side right this one fit very tight I almost felt as though I didn't even have to tighten the screw up it was super super tight on my Glock 21 I really liked how it was flush with the bottom of the trigger guard it looks as though it was made into it and this piece at the back here fits just right over any trigger guard that I've tried to put this on and so it comes into the trigger guard a little bit, which is really nice. Makes manipulating these pads on the side uh, very, very easy, okay? So it says online, anything you look, and it's even sold as the 1000 lumen, the PID dual 1000 lumen, but in the literature here, it said on high that it was 900 lumen and on low, it was 500 lumen. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go with what the literature says because again, I, I don't think, you know, if I compare it to say maybe my stream light, it doesn't look like it's a thousand lumens like my, my stream light or my Surefire is, but it's plenty, plenty wide enough. It's a nice light. I do have some pictures of shining it in my backyard. I do have some standalone pictures of the laser so you can see how, how well it shows up. I have no problem with it whatsoever. Again, we're talking a stream light with all of this on there six seven hundred bucks i'm sorry uh surefire if you get a stream light with all of that on there with all of those features you're still somewhere in the four or five hundred dollar range um, i picked this up for like a buck 174 bucks or something like that maybe it might have even been less than that it might have been like 164 plus tax or something so with everything you get with this thing and and, and i'll say this too about lights that i've purchased in the past that has had the laser integrated into it. Either the laser sucked and the light was great, the light was great and the laser, uh, did I just say that? <laughs> Either the, the laser was great, the light sucked, or the laser sucked and the light was good. I, I just, you know, I, or, or a lot of times I couldn't even get the laser to 
to zero. And if it did zero, it wouldn't stay zero. So I just never have been a big fan. And maybe not on this either. I haven't shot this yet, but I do intend to go out to the range the next time we get to the range. Hopefully that's real, real soon. And I'm gonna find out if this laser not only zeroed, but, but held zero, okay? Now it does come with a charging point here on the side. It comes with a little charger, a little USB charger. They say on full high mode with the laser and the light, it'll last for about an hour, 60 minutes. The rechargeable battery that's in here, it's not something that you can't take out if say the battery won't hold charge anymore. It is an 18350 rechargeable battery and those are pretty readily available. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you just wanted to get one of the 18350s that was not rechargeable, you just, you know, replace it out if that's what you wanted to do. And again, the the <clears throat> it is waterproof, it's dust and it is waterproof. And it is made of a 7075 aluminum housing. Again, like I said, it does have the the charging port and it says that it's compatible with most any light bearing holster or most most of your common ones anyway it is um tested to uh to be shock resistant okay it is black the color of the light is white of course it says a thousand lumens in the literature as i mentioned it does say it does say that it's 900 the bulb type is cree cree i guess that's how you say that c-r-e-e -E, uh, led Again, the housing is aluminum and it weighs in at about 5.3 ounces. It, it attaches to pick rails is what the literature says. I'm sure it would also attach to a 1913 rail, but don't take me up on that. The overall length, 3.6 inches. The beam distance, 250 meters. Battery life, as I mentioned, is an hour. And the bezel uh, diameter is 25 millimeters. And as I already mentioned, it does have an 18350 lithium ion battery in there. Now, some of the things are, that, I mean, really, there's not much of anything I don't like about it. Like I said, I like the fact that it's, it's, it's beveled out here, or if it's hollowed out, if you will, here at the back where the paddles are, so that it'll slide over your trigger guard and come up into the trigger guard, making it very easy to manipulate uh, the paddles okay so it has a set of paddles at the top and it has a set of paddles at the bottom so just i just probably won't pick up for camera but i'm gonna try anyway if you hold the two bottom paddles it'll go down to where it's just a laser nothing but a laser okay and then the way you would turn the laser on would be by hitting the bottom paddle left or right and it would just turn on the laser okay and then the top one here would be, the top left or right paddles would be to turn your light on, okay? Now you can hit the bottom two paddles simultaneously at the same time. And as you can see, the light came on and you have the light and the laser. I probably just blinded all y'all. But now you do have the light and the laser. Now, every time you hit the bottom paddle or the top paddle, whichever paddle you hit on either side, the light will come on with the laser in combination with the laser. That's the way I have it set up. I think that's very, very cool. If I'm gonna zero this laser and I'm gonna use this laser, then of course, I'm probably gonna be using it when I also want to use my light. So I have it set up that way. Um, the very top two paddles, you can press them simultaneously. It'll drop you down to your 500 lumen and then you hit it again simultaneously. It'll bring you back up to your 1,000 or 900 lumens. So anyway, I, I just, I, we are gonna take this to the range. We are gonna beat it up a little bit, if you will. I'm gonna put it on a 45, maybe slap it on my 50 AE or something, kind of give it some punishment. I'm gonna run it for an hour to see if it'll actually hold up and and keep that consistent light beam for an hour, as it says, for the 60 minutes. Maybe, maybe time, over time, I'll realize, hey man, Hollison missed the boat on this one. I'll stick with my stream light or my surefires. But so far, I couldn't be more impressed with how this thing is set up with the price point, with having the rechargeable battery, and also having the, um, 
Well, here on the left side, and, and it does, like I said, it did come with the tool here to adjust the elevation and the windage on the, here on the bottom as well, you have your elevation. I believe the windage is on the left side over here and that adjusts your laser so you can get your laser zeroed. I do have it uh, semi zeroed, I suppose. I have it sitting right in front of the front sight on my Glock 21. We'll see when we get out to the range if it's actually zeroed or not. And then we'll put it through maybe a hundred rounds or so to see if that laser will keep zero. Cause that's been a lot of the problems I've had with lights like this in the past. You know, even if you got it to zero, getting it to keep that zero would be part of your issue sometimes. It comes in a nice packaging here with the literature and the foam and everything, just like you would see your Hollis and optics would come in. And I can't say so far enough good things about this this uh, this flashlight. I just really, really like the design and I genuinely hope that it holds up, that it doesn't lose charge just sitting on the nightstand. I'm gonna find all those things out and I'll be able to report that all back to you. If my mind changes about it, you'll be the first ones to know, I guarantee you that. And we will be getting this to the range real, real soon and putting it through the paces. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video today. I'm sure that I missed something again, doing lights, optic sights, things like that is relatively new to us. So forgive me for stumbling over myself a little bit but just wanted to get this up we hope you enjoyed it sorry about the dog yakking anyway this is the hollison pid dual 1000 lumen flashlight hope you guys enjoyed hit the thumbs up make sure you subscribe it's the only way we can keep doing this and have a blessed day